everyone. Welcome back to Jericho Energy's channel. We're sitting here once again with Brian, who's going to be a key speaker at a couple of events, but we'll dive into that in a second. First off, Brian, how are you doing today? We're doing great, Michael. We're doing great. Thanks for asking. Good, good. Glad to see you doing well. So let's dive into it. You're going to be speaking at a couple different events here. And the first one being at an MIT alumni clubs, advancing the low carbon energy transition through hydrogen. And then another one at the American Boiler Manufacturers Association. So what I find really interesting is these events are like, they're, they're completely different, right? They're two completely different style of events, but Jericho Energy and hydrogen fits well into both of them, right? So tell me, do you plan to deliver your message differently between the two? I think in, a, in part, we will deliver the message a little bit differently because of the audience, right? So to your point, Michael, the dichotomy of the two groups is fascinating, right? But it also speaks to the interests that we're seeing from, from the world. Um, a lot of people interested in hydrogen, a lot of people wanting to understand the breadth and depth at which it can be used to potentially decarbonize our energy, our energy system. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about MIT, obviously you think about technology. So a lot of the focus is about the tech and where has the tech been, where is the tech today and where is it going, right? And how do we implement hydrogen and all the things that are associated with its technologies to deliver clean hydrogen? How does that work and where are they in terms of market readiness? Mm -hmm. I think with respect to the boiler folks, um, they are looking at it and saying, we focus on one of the most energy intensive and carbon intensive industries out there delivering steam um, delivering thermal thermal heat to folks so in both of those cases they're focused on how do we think about hydrogen to decarbonize our solutions right and obviously with our emission free boiler everybody is very interested in hearing how the market adaptation to an emission free solution is going to be so a lot of interest on both ends. And it also shows just how much the, 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 the emissions of steam, um, which represent almost a third of our carbon emissions are now making it into everyday conversations. True. It's, it's just interesting to see the visionaries and the more pragmatic people both on the same page here. And, and kind of going off that, what, what are you really excited about when going and speaking to these events? And what's the key purpose? What would you consider a win? So, so there's such a small part of the world that knows anything about hydrogen. And to me, it's a huge win that everybody's open to learning about it and learning how hydrogen could be important in the energy transition. You know, there's been a, a growing interest in it because it can be produced from a clean perspective because hydrogen isn't new, right? Hydrogen has been used in various forms and fashions by lots of folks from refiners to petrochemicals to the chemical industry um, for many, many years. But now with the ability to take this energy abundant advantaged molecule and deliver it in a clean fashion is a game changer. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how much people have come in terms of their thinking on hydrogen, where everyone's, where the global thought process is and, you know, see what we can show them and what we're doing. Yeah, it's really important to have dialogues with other people working on similar things like this. And um, kind of going off that, obviously, when it comes to new technologies, building awareness is half the battle. You got to get it out in front of people and let them understand what's, what's going on. Hey, here's what we got. But after that, what are the next steps after raising awareness? So I think once you raise awareness, I think the next step is going to be to show them how it impacts their business, how it impacts the world, right? Because I think that what people once they understand that it can be impactful, the next question is how can it be impactful to me, right? Mm -hmm. And so for us in thinking about the, the, the commercial industrial steam market, a $30 billion market, it's going from all of the folks that are calling us to the next level down, right? To those folks who don't even know that there's solutions that could deliver an admission-free green steam solution to them. Right, so we have the bleeding edge adopters all calling us, wanting to test the tech, wanting to buy boilers, you know, and now we want to get the word out there so that people understand that this is not just for those folks, yeah. that we can actually deliver a cost-effective solution. Just because it's green doesn't mean it can't compete on a cost basis with your traditional fossil fuel-based solutions. So the next step for us is continuing the awareness campaign uh, and getting more people to read our white paper. So to realize that there are solutions just like ours that deliver, you know, a more thoughtful, environmentally thoughtful, cost competitive way to generate steam. 
That's a really good point. You know, when you, you talk about introducing new technologies, obviously you're going to have those early adopters, those people out there looking for whatever is new and coming, but there's the, the mass market too. There's the people, your common everyday person that needs to be aware that there are solutions that can help them long-term and help the planet long-term. And I feel like with everybody kind of opening their eyes to that fact that there's small things they can do that will both improve their own costs and potentially help the planet, that this is a good time for this. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and you know, for, for anybody who hasn't seen it, it has now become a, a focus of the DOE. The DOE, the Department of Energy, is now pushing hard in the United States to understand hydrogen, its importance. They're asking everybody in the industry now saying, tell us about hydrogen. How should we think about it? So we have this amazing opportunity to shape policy, to work with the energy department and transition the United States through the fossil fuel era into a cleaner energy environment. And, and the Department of Energy now has adopted hydrogen as one of its potential solutions. And so it's an amazing time to be in the space. Yeah, the Department of Energy is a good ally to have in getting things going quick. If the government isn't on your side, things typically move slow. But now that they're completely on board, it's, it's green skies ahead. All right, Brian. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. Do you have any parting words before we go? No, appreciate it. Look forward to more updates in the not too distant future. All right. Well, everyone stay tuned. We'll get some more to you as soon as we can. You got any questions, send them over. Brian, have a wonderful day. You too, Michael. Thanks for having us.